Facebook, the mails, social networking. How much do you use the internet, say, a, a day? Uh, Maybe I read. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I probably on a regular basis. I don't think I probably could go a day without using it. <laughs> we use the internet every day, to the point that it's become part of our culture. We all remember the day Wikipedia shut itself down in protest to the copyright bill, SOPA, that threatened to diminish the freedom of the internet. But recently, the internet has campaigned against a new legislation bill, the Anti-Counterfeiting Trade Agreement, or ACTA. But what is ACTA, and how is it different? There are a number of treaties already in place regarding the protection of intellectual property on, on an international basis. What there isn't um, is a coordinated idea amongst countries as to how to actually tackle this sort of um, you know, counterfeit, trade in counterfeit goods, trade in illicit copyright material. It's a framework for policing existing rights, so it's not necessarily um, introducing any new rights, it's just saying these are the rights we've got but they're not necessarily policed effectively thus far. So why has the internet galvanised against the bill? They're going to use this to take over the internet and shut down sites like YouTube and Twitter. They want to make it so you can't play a, a video with copyrighted music in the background, so that you can't send music, videos or anything that's not at your own desire. The wording is so vague in it that it means this is going to be made more difficult and there are going to be fewer opportunities for artists. Like a lot of YouTube videos are already saying this has been signed into law behind our backs. Mega upload was stormed worldwide. If you have copyrighted anything on your computer, they can cut your internet service. They can fine you, they can give you criminal charges, they can throw you in jail. A 23-year-old British computer student faces possible extradition to the US for linking to copyrighted content on his website. But perhaps there's more to the bigger picture. It, it seems that a lot of people who are opposing it purely from the copyright side of things are also the sort of people who think that quite a lot of stuff should be open access. They, they cannot imagine a life before the internet. And so much content on the internet has been made freely available that it, it is rather difficult for people to give that up. But the other thing about ACTA is, going away from copyright slightly, it is there to help protect people from um, rip-off products, um, counterfeit drugs, illicit vodka. Clearly that's a health issue. I think most people would agree that trying to prevent counterfeiting is generally a good idea, particularly when a lot of counterfeiting um, is driven by criminal elements. Are we right to be concerned over ACTA? Or will it do our society some good? Either way, June 2012 will certainly be remembered, for better or for worse.